Today we're going to talk about the input and output of a function and also the domain and range of a function. So some of this is review. We already talked about input and output um, back on the first day of class when we introduced the concept of a function, right? If we have um, a function, y is a function of x, we can write y is equal to f of x, and x is the input to the function and y is the output of the function, right? So one thing I want to emphasize, though, is that this, these parentheses are like the receptor for the input, right? So receptor uh, for the input, okay? So wherever we see parentheses, we can replace it with whatever the input is. In this case, we're saying the input is x, um, um, and what we would end up with over here is f of x, right? If we put in t, then what we would end up with is f of t. If we put in 5, right, then what we end up with is f of 5, all right? So um, we're just replacing, um, we're putting uh, the input into the parentheses, all right? So f is the name of the function, and these parentheses are just the receptor for the input, all right? So let's take a look at this first example. You've seen problems like this already. So this is nothing new, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this in, um, you know, uh, in that form where it's sort of like a function machine. So um, the function f of x is x squared minus 1. So I can write that as something in parentheses squared minus 1, right, where the input is an x value and the output is y and then that becomes f of x. All right, so I just want to put, val if, I got, if I know the a value for x, I can just put that value into the parentheses. All right, so for example, let's look at this. We, we're, we've got y equals uh, x squared minus 1, and we want to um, complete the table and graph the function. All right, so I'm going to replace this x with a minus 3 in parentheses. So don't forget the parentheses, um, minus 1. Now, you probably know that negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is a positive 9, right? And so this gives us 8. Um, but make sure you put, put parentheses around the negative 3, particularly if you're going to put it into your calculator. If you don't put parentheses around it, it's not going to give you the right answer. <laughs> so if you say, if you type into your calculator negative 3 squared minus 1, it thinks you just want to square just the 3 and then make it negative. So that becomes a negative 9. This is going to give you negative 10, which would not be the right answer. All right, this is not the right answer. Um, you're squaring the whole thing. That's why the parentheses are important. So we're going to treat those parentheses as the receptor for the input, right? This is negative 2 squared minus 1, right? So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and then minus 1 gives you a 3, all right? And so on. All the way down, we're going to calculate these values. So negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, minus 1 is 0. All right, so I went ahead and calculated all those values, and so that you don't <laughs> need to watch me fumble around um, plotting points, drawing axes and <laughs> plotting points and all of that. I went ahead and I drew the axes, I labeled the uh, scale on the axes, and then I just plotted each one of these points, right? So um, this, this first um, uh, x and y value becomes a, a, an ordered pair, negative 3 comma 8, and then I plotted that point up here. Okay, and I did that for each case. So negative two, this becomes the point negative two comma three, and then I plotted that point right here. All right, and I did that for every point in the table, and um, then connected it with um, with lines, <laughs> connected it up to to draw the graph of um, x squared minus one. All right, so the main point here was just, again, this is not nothing new to you. You've done this before, but I just want to emphasize that um, we treat those parentheses, the input to the, um, to, fun to the function, those parentheses become the, the receptor for the input to the function. All right, so um, 
use parentheses. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll meet you in the next example.